All right, we're going to take a look at using the pen tool and tracing an image so that it's symmetrical, meaning that the right half is exactly the same as the left half. So to do this, I went out and I found an image online. And what we're going to do is trace one half of the image, mirror it, and then hook the two halves together. So let's dive in and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now, you'll notice that I've created a guide on the left hand side of the artboard and the guide is set at zero pixels and what I want to do is the only portion of this image that we're worried about is this area here with the arrow pointing onto the platform and so I'm going to zoom in just a little bit and we're going to drag this icon just over a little bit there we go as close as we can to the center there. Now, this layer that I have the image on, we're going to lock that so that when I start dragging around, we don't disturb the image at all. I'm also going to go ahead and remove the visibility of that guide. And then I'm going to select the tracing layer that I created. And now let's get started tracing. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and let's grab the pen tool. Now I'm only worried about doing one half of this image. So let's go ahead and concentrate on the left half. So I'm going to add an anchor point here as well as one here and final one there. And I'm just going to connect the anchor points here. Now I wanna make sure that this top anchor point has the same X value as this bottom anchor point. So all I have to do is select that anchor point. This is at zero, which is great. And then this one is also at zero. We're off to a good start. What I want to do now is take this anchor point, stretch it out just a little bit. And the reason why is because I wanna grab this circle indicator, which basically allows me to pull in that corner and give it rounded edges. Now what it does is it adds two anchor points so that you can get that nice rounded edge. And then this anchor point can also be nudged down just a hair, just a little right there. I'm not going to worry about rounding this corner yet, but we will here in a second. The next thing that we want to do is grab our selection tool and make a copy. Now I'm holding down Shift and Alt and moving it just to the side here. I have the original tracing right where I left it, but I have a copy over here now. Next, we select the copy and then choose Object, Transform, and then Reflect. Now we want to reflect this along the vertical axis. We can hit Preview so that it just kind of mirrors so that we have that right hand side. So I like that. I'm going to choose OK. And then I'm going to move this back over. I'm holding the shift key so that I don't accidentally adjust it up or down or anything like that. So I'm going to release that. You'll notice now that this copy is butt up right against the original. Now to verify this, we can choose the reference point for the left hand side. Any of the left hand side reference points will do. And we, we can see that the reference point along the left hand side is zero pixels. Similarly, I can select the original tracing and then choose the right reference point and that gives us a zero as well. So at this point, what we want to do is select the add anchor point tool and you can just click the plus equal key on your keyboard or you can hold down over here and choose add anchor point. Now we want to add an anchor point along this path here and then all we do is hit the delete key. Now it looks like it remained, but you're actually seeing the anchor point of the right object. So let's go ahead and hit the selection key and you'll notice that there is nothing in the middle when I hover over the remaining paths. There's nothing in the middle here. We're going to go ahead and select this tracing over here and do the same thing. Hit the plus key for the add anchor point tool and then we'll add another anchor point and just hit delete. So now we have two halves that are missing the middle, which is exactly what we want. Next, we'll grab the direct selection tool and select the top anchor points here. So I have them both selected 
And an easy way to tell that is both paths are visible and these two anchor points are filled in with red. So I'm going to right click on those and choose join. And now I have a corner right here, but we're not done yet. One easy way to tell if your path is closed is by selecting it. So we'll choose the selection tool and we'll give it a stroke of let's say one, really doesn't matter. But you'll notice that I cannot align the stroke to the inside or the outside. It only allows me to align the stroke along the center of the path. So I'm going to undo that and go back to my direct selection tool and select the bottom two anchor points and do the same thing, right click and hit join. Now you'll see that I have this rounded edge right here. And so I can also verify that the path is closed by choosing a stroke. And I can then align that stroke to the inside or the outside. And you can only do that if the path is entirely closed. So let's clean this up just a little bit. I'm going to grab this bottom anchor point and I'm going to just nudge it down just a little bit so that I can pull in the corners similar to what we did up there. I don't really like that. I'm going to bring it in just one more just by undoing and then we'll bring that in. So we got that one good and then I'm going to bring this middle anchor point down just a little bit and zoom in and then pull that up just a little bit. Now I'm going to hide this bottom layer right here and you can see that we have a perfectly symmetrical arrow icon pointing down. So you could actually stop the video here and give it a shot. If you want to see me finish this image out, just keep watching. I'm going to remove the stroke from this path. And what I'll do now is go back to the original pen tool. And we're going to just kind of start here. I want this first anchor point to be at zero. We can ensure that happens in just a second. I'm going to hold down the shift key and drag to the left so that it remains at the same height as the original anchor point. And then I'm just going to make a corner here and bring it over. I want it to intersect at the zero X axis. So I've got these four anchor points. We're just going to adjust them really quick. So I'm going to choose my direct selection tool, click on the first anchor point, verify that it is at zero and the anchor point right below it that's at zero as well and i'm just gonna make this y-axis an even negative 171 and i'll do the same to this anchor point over here just to make sure that these anchor points line up closer to the middle of the the line that we see on this image one final thing that we need to do to this image is to select this bottom left anchor point and bring in the rounding just a bit so we can get that nice rounded look there. Then we can grab our selection tool, select the entire path, hold shift and alt down and bring it over so that we have a copy, right click, transform, and then reflect. And again, we wanna reflect along the vertical axis and we like to preview, so we're gonna hit okay. We want this copy to butt up right against the original. So with one of the left reference points selected in the transform panel, we'll change the X axis value to zero pixels. And that butts it up right against the original over here. And we want to again, grab the add anchor point tool. And I know it's in here somewhere. I can see by the guides and I can just hit the add button and then choose my direct selection tool again and I did that using the quick key A so I can just choose that and hit delete and then I want to grab the add anchor point tool again add another anchor point and hit delete so that the path on the left hand side and the path on the right hand side are both open then I'll choose the direct selection tool again select these top two paths and hit join and select these bottom two paths and hit join now you may notice that the two anchor points that we have remaining in the middle are no longer necessary. So I can choose the minus key 
We don't want to just choose the direct selection key and delete, or else we'll lose that section of the path. So you choose the minus key, which is the delete anchor point tool, and just delete that anchor point on each of those sections of the path. And that way we have that platform. Next, what we would do is choose the pen tool again, and we can just put an anchor point anywhere along here, hold down the shift key, and we can stop it anywhere. What we can do to make sure it connects is select one of the anchor points and hold down the shift key and just drag it until we get the intersect icon. Now, if you're not seeing those guides, you can press command U or control U on a PC and that will bring up those guides. So I'm going to grab this one and we want to bring it over till it intersects again and then we'll just release. Let's go ahead and add a stroke to both of these paths. You'll notice that we have one problem here. We've got this middle area that we do not want. So if I add a stroke to this one as well, for example, in fact, let's make these uh, three point strokes so they're a little easier to see. We don't want this middle part. We only want it, we want it to come and stop right here. Let's add stroke here as well of three. To do that it should be pretty simple. We'll just add an anchor point here and we can add it anywhere in the middle here and we can add an anchor point here and an anchor point here. Really doesn't matter where we add those along the path at this point, but what we do want to do is go ahead and delete this middle anchor point and then grab each side anchor point and just pull it over until we see the intersect icon and just do it one more time till it intersects. And this anchor point, check out the transform panel. The x-axis is 6.739, so that means this one should be negative 6.739, which it is. So that gives us a great indication that what we created is symmetrical. And I'm going to go ahead and remove the visibility for the tracing layer. And now I'm just going to select all of the paths and hit Command G to group them or Control G on a PC. And at this point, I can adjust the size and use this icon at any size because it's perfectly symmetrical vector graphics. So I can blow it up at any size and it's going to look great. So hopefully this tutorial was helpful in giving you an idea on how to create symmetrical images using the pen tool and the add and delete anchor point tools to give you nice, perfectly symmetrical images. Go ahead and try it and have fun and don't forget to subscribe below. Thanks for watching.